Setting a tone of respect, stopping harassment, and reaching out to youth who may be struggling requires knowledge, skills, and confidence. Practice is essential. And now we can provide that practice anywhere, 24-7, with three new interactive online training simulations. The first is Step In, Speak Up. It's for teachers and other adults working with youth in middle and high school. And LGBTQ on campus. It's a pair of trainings for institutions of higher education, one for students and one for faculty and staff. These powerful tools make it easy to reach faculty, staff, and students in a way that is meaningful, safe, and engaging. We built these three programs around a series of conversation scenarios. In these scenarios, users respond to hostile language or bullying they witness, and they reach out to LGBTQ students they think may need support. And our technology allows users to choose what to say to the student and see how they respond, and even undo a decision and try a different approach, all while getting personalized feedback. And each program has a variety of different scenarios. For example, in the college student version, you have a conversation where you reach out to a friend who's under a lot of stress because she's considering coming out to her family. In the college faculty and staff version, there's a conversation where you assume the role of a teacher and you need to address some disrespectful language that comes up during a class discussion. And in the K-12 version, there's a conversation where you need to reach out to a student who's being severely bullied by people at school and he's under a lot of stress. And you uncover in that conversation that he's actually considering dropping out to avoid the environment at school. So we spend a lot of time designing each conversation to be relevant and realistic and challenging so that users can really master these skills and gain the confidence that they need so that they're prepared to face similar situations that come up in real life. The fact that you can learn and practice new skills and techniques in private is especially important. You can make mistakes, you can try different approaches, and become more comfortable. Whether it's handling an issue in the classroom or reaching out one-on-one. -on -one. To get ahead of a crisis, to move upstream and create a safe and supportive environment in our homes, in our schools, in our communities, we know that communication is key. One conversation can save a life.